right, talk to talk. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Let me get this thing going. So look, man. Hey, man, this is Torture Talk, the 8 a.m. show. You know what it is. Um, so today's episode, I want to talk about this second lawsuit. WAC 100 has came out, and him and someone on his podcast is going back and forth, and he breaks down very well what's going on and how, it, and how everything's happening. So before I get into that, you know I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy, single ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content, and it's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is in the description. In the description. If you don't have to leave a donation, if you don't want to, it's all good. As long as you're here, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want people to feel like they're obligated to leave a donation. You don't. I just, you know, you can if you want. Um... And also, too, they called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000. King of the North, you know what it is. Let me know what kingdom you from. If you from the kingdom of Chicago, if you from the kingdom of uh, Atlanta, let me know. So let's get to it, man. We got a lot to talk about, so let's go. All right, so let's go. Let's get it. See, <laughs> look, me could have did, me could have did the same. I, the if, point. If you're paying, have you the ever negotiated label, a deal? Bro, they go off the, numbers. Negotiations and negotiations. I, they go off of numbers. numbers. You is missing a point. You do you not look. See, this is what, and this is what I mean by these uh, armchair A and R's or these keyboard A and R's, right? Obviously. WAC 100 is in the music industry. He owns rights to certain songs. He, he is in there. So he knows about what should be what. He knows about where sh everything should go, what should go. He has, a, he, has a, uh, he has artists. I believe Blueface was one of his artists. 6 9 was one of his artists. He has artists. He did. You know what I'm saying? So he has his ways, and he knows what he's doing. But then you got people on here who thinks that a negotiation is a negotiation and not understanding the logistics behind certain things. So we're going to listen to this because it's a fascinating argument between these two and WAC 100 basically puts them in his place real quick. So let's go. Losing a negotiation boy. if your numbers are still high. If my job does that to me, where I am the person bringing in this money and I'm doing sales for them, but they're paying the competition behind my back so they can go get sales while I'm doing that is illegal, bro. Especially in the music business. What do you mean? You that is not illegal. Everybody, this is how stupid some of these people are, right? First of all, there's no such thing as your direct competition if y'all and, and a label it doesn't work like that this is not like it's uh i don't know boxing or something this is y'all y'all going off of what people like so it's not oh he's my co competition or he's my direct op no even though it, it is like that that's not how it works in the music industry i'm telling y'all that it goes off of contracts and what contract states in this contract i'm gonna pay you this amount and if your sales do this I'll pay you this. Or if your sales do this, I won't pay you this. It it, de it depends. And then with, over here, I'm going to pay you this, and I'm going to pay you that. If this, everybody contract is different. You can't say that, oh, they're paying my op more money than they're paying uh, uh, paying me. It don't work like that. Even if they was paying your op more money, that's the contract that they negotiated. What are you talking about? It's all the money coming from the same umbrella. Listen, bro. It don't matter if it's UMG, 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 that ain't no trade. It's used a different way for this dude than it is for me on an illegal way, and I'm negotiating. And hey, that comes down to your I contract. Exactly. So that's what the conversation is that about. That comes down to your contract. Now, <laughs> that's what we're talking are. about. This is what you failing to understand. He's you're not talking about that, dog. You're trying to switch. You're trying to move the goalposts. You can't say you don't know what Kendrick contract says. You don't know what he, what his contract was. He actually uh, probably negotiated a new contract because Not Like Us isn't under TDE. I believe that's under his label. So he had to negotiate a new contract. You don't know what, what his contract is. How can you say that? 
saying. OVO, just like PG Lane, is contracted to Indies that's under UMG. A fact. What they give you, they could give OVO a hundred million for their marketing. They could give PG Lane fifty million for their marketing. If PG Lane go spend their whole fifty million on marketing and don't put nothing in their pocket, that's great. If OVO takes their hundred million and only want to spend fifteen twenty million on the marketing. That's on them. I'm with you, bro. I'm not disagreeing on that. I think what you what you gotta get in that is can. basically you are because you just moved the goalposts. You basically were saying that, and then once he broke it down, now you're saying that's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? He's basically telling you what what they do. They give different. There's different. Even if you're going off of what they give y'all the same, but there's different contracts. You can't say, well, they're giving more to my op. It don't work like that in business. No, if he negotiated for more, that's what he got. He might have negotiated and say, listen, if this song does over a million streams in one day or two days, I need y'all to give me 10 more million dollars. And if they if they agree to that, then how can you be mad at that? You can't say like, you can't, that's, that's according to y'all, that's great marketing and great business. That's a great business strategy. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Your old companies is what you're missing. If the funds are being misappropriated, so then you file the petition to say, where are these funds being misappropriated to? They will have to, in discovery, say, hey, it wasn't us. It was, like you just said, uh, in hey, bro, EG Lane. I think you missed what that's I'm how saying. It's gonna go. what? And again, how, how, how are you saying the funds was misappropriated? How? What, what, what are you saying? Are you saying that, that, they are on record buying streams for the song. They're on record buying streams for the song. So you're basically saying Spotify colluded with UMG to buy streams for Kendrick's song. When you don't know what the contract Kendrick said. This is crazy. That's what this is, bro. Bro, their marketing budget is the... Ain't no, this is just one marketing budget and we pull. Everybody has their own marketing budget. Ain't no, oh, you gave Kendrick more than you gave me. That is all contractual when they did they in the it's not that, it, that's not the that's not the conversation, bro. That's why I keep saying you're you not keep catching what I'm saying. If, if, if no, they you keep saying more. what I'm saying, but you're not letting me say what I'm you saying. You just said I'm it. I'm telling you what I'm saying. It's not about how much. It's about misappropriate. They saying that they was using it for payola, paying DJs, doing things that was illegally done in the music business. This is the same contract. I mean, same company that you're contracted to that you're negotiating paying with DJ, going hey, forward. Look, so, if you're, so if they're doing a like, DJ is not done, payola. Like you said, you said and it's being DJ being is not payola, bro. It's man. a form. If you paying radio no, DJs to no, spin music and radio, radio. radio, people don't be knowing what they're talking about. They just be hearing something. Cause I know a lot of people, they never heard the term payola until today. Until yesterday. They never heard the term until yesterday. And now they're using it as if they know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Never heard the term. Never. Because no one's ever, I ain't hear nobody say this before. Now, all of a sudden, now everybody knows about payola now. Like, come on, bro. Oh, it's radio. Payola. We That's all, a, I just said we a radio all have DJs. a budget That's what we're talking for about, our radio DJs. DJs. Okay. We're talking about radio DJs. Okay. That's what we're talking now, about. Now, radio has never worked by the label. Radio has always worked by independent companies that work right Whack, now. whack, whack. Take, let's go step by step. How do you I'm get, if you are, if you're a person that's trying to get that You can't tell me about it, Brock. Okay, but listen to me. If you're a person that's trying to get that information, you you seeing that dislikes and all of this stuff is happening on some crazy you have your team that's saying, hey, bro, we seen we seen people come forward saying they've been getting paid. We seen people say they's gonna get a percentage of this you song. The so point. they do the discovery, and then that then like they said, UMG put out, UMG, out. He, he he don't know what he's talking about. He just talking to talk. It doesn't work like that. Usually when it comes to uh record labels, any any song that you know any song you hear, 
any song. Everything is published. Everything. Every writer, every person that's involved, everybody is published. Just like movies. They publish everything. They have to. There's nobody. There's no backdoor deal. There's no somebody behind the scenes. No. They have to do it. They have to. And if you're saying it is somebody behind the scenes and backdoor deal, then you are in conspiracy theory land and you don't have no evidence of it, so you can't use it. You know what I'm saying? I like conspiracy theories because some of them do come true, but you still got to have some type of evidence. But if there's no evidence of it, what are we saying here? He put out a statement oh, said it wouldn't be us. It'll be Interscope that you need to look at. Then it'll keep going down and it'll go to the third party company, like you said, wherever it ends up going. But that's how you get yeah, they the information. Do not, UMG does not work radio, bro. They don't, that's not what we, that's not, bro. Like, this is not, you don't even know enough. That's not what I'm saying, not. though. You keep trying to they dumb are, it down, bro. They you are, can't it, no, it. because like, you keep trying I'm to breaking it down. UMG, they do not work radio. There's a company that's outsourced that are radio reps. That company has a fee. We pay that company their fee. That company goes and do whatever the f they do. They're their own company. But how can a, oh, that, that the company can't do? offer percentages of a song, though? No, he can't. So, that, so no, somebody was offered a percentage of a song to do no, bike, and then then we can, then that's a problem, right? Because the no, only people can't. that can offer percentages Bro, he, again, of song. He heard this on academic stream, and that's why he's saying that. Somebody was offered a percentage of a song. Bro, if you you do you know if that was actually true, then for then everybody that has something to do with botting, they would be doing that. If you can't say that you was offered a percentage of a song and you didn't have any contract or anybody, no one wrote nothing and told you. If someone just told you that and didn't give it to you, you just got got, nigga. You just got. That's it. Ain't no way in the world you're going to sit here and tell me that someone offered this man a percentage of the song, but he had no kind. He could be lying. How do you know that? Does he have it? Does he have any evidence of this? Who told him this? Even if there was a company that told him that and took his money, he just got got for money. Like, what are you saying? Like, it's it's crazy. He got this from academic stream. That's why he's talking like this. Would be the direct people that were involved with that. The okay, label. now we go back down. So that's in the back. petition, bro. Rock, see, here go the problem with you, right? And you having a conversation, right? That that you 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 can't have with me. See. When you say offer a percentage of a song, that ain't even nothing to talk about. You pull the song. The song gonna tell you everybody that got a cut of that song. I was told that CMOS would be good for me. The first thing... What you talking about? If you go pull so that's any what's breath happening. that I put out, <laughs> you're you gonna see... Look, you're going to see everybody that has ownership in that song. Everybody. Every writer, every producer, if it was one of the investors, you'd be like, who is that? Oh, that's the nigga, that's the investor, that's the nigga put the money up, right? You're gonna see everybody got a percentage of that song. So that verbal is just a verbal. The song, as registered, is going to dictate who has a percentage of the song. Document it. Document it that the world can see. That, no, Wack, you know that, like I know, sometimes you can do it without being named publicly. No, you can't. No, you cannot. And, and, this is exactly what I mean. People be, this is what I mean by these armchair ARs and these people think they know what they're talking about. You can't do that, bro. You can't. So when the dude said he was offered a percentage of the song, he could be lying, bro. And you believe it. He could be lying. Oh, I was poor for the percentage of the song to bot the song. How do you know he did that? I don't care if he has, he could have all fake evidence and you believe it. You cannot get a percentage of a song without being named publicly? N no, you cannot. Nigga, you have, bro, you have to be registered to the song to be identified and recognized as one of the owners of royalty or publish it on that song. Period. Ain't no way around it. So, unless they got a program director registered to the song as one of the owners, 
what they talking about is bullshit. Now, if a giving a bag through the back door, you never going to prove that. That's a bag through the back door. Every song has everybody that has anything to do with that song. Royalty rate, mechanical royalties, and publishing registered to the song. You can go pull it up. You can go pull up any song. That, yo, this is what I'm saying. A lot of these dudes just be singing anything because they think on conspiracy theories terms, which is cool if you really into that. But at the same time, you got to think about it. If somebody's saying they was promised a something, they could have just got God. That's it. That dude, if he's telling the truth, he could have just got God. But how is he saying he was promised that he was going to get a percentage of the song? Why would they give him, if they know he's known for botting and no, one's had, no one has ever gave him a percentage of the song? <laughs> why would they give him a percentage of the song now? Why? Why would they do that? You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't know, man. You really want to find Ghost Riders? Go pull the songs up. Yo, ask a question. <laughs> if, uh, yeah, if there was no beef, would anybody have a problem with how Kendrick's song was worked? No, if Drake would have won, that Drake would have been on you top. Point. You wouldn't hear yeah, none you of make this. Him a point. You didn't hear none yeah, of this. You didn't hear none that's of this. What I'm you, if Meek Bills could have did the same Drake doing right now, and he didn't. Right. That's my point. Like, that's how they work a song, and now it's a problem because you lost. That's because he lost. Meek could have did, did the same Drake's doing right now, and didn't. He could have went over there and said, yo, y'all worked this song. Yo, y'all gave him position. No, we put your up. We put his up. The people went with his there's a bunch of people women. The crazy part about it is again, Drake won the streaming side. He just lost the popularity vote of the people. He was That's showing crazy. months and months after the fact he's still the number one streamer. Oh my God. He was showing that. He just lost the popularity vote of the people. And you can't buy. Well, I don't know if that's actually true. I mean, obviously, it may be true because he do have more, more, uh, more um, streams or more um, followers. But truth be told, I mean, I, 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 we'll, we'll see, we'll see, but we'll see, we'll see. I that, so I don't know what he's trying to prove. He proven that he's a. B yeah, you can't buy popular opinion. If a person like yeah. it, they like it, no matter how much you force it on them. Go sue the people. Go yeah. sue the people, okay? <laughs> right. I mean, the nigga didn't fall on his face. I mean, the popularity vote of the people, what hit the clubs and whatever, yeah, uh, Kendrick won that, but the didn't lose no revenue. And whatever deal he had going on, this added to his deal because... This was this wasn't anticipated. This wasn't a project that they anticipated that hit and plus in revenue. If anything, he can go and demand more money. Oh. Dang wax say I don't disagree like you. So yeah, I disagree Drake, with that. Drake's That's why you got money by DJ head, head on you. Bro, Drake did not show over a billion. Drake, Drake did not that. show a loss That's in not streaming, everybody's bro. opinion either. That's just wax opinion. So. Drake Small P has nothing to do with genetics, and most men can reverse it. Most men think that what makes his... No, this is fact. That I show a decline in his streaming. This he is did. fact. No, uh, uh, Drake just broke record uh, with yeah. having 20 songs bro, over a billion streams on Spotify. Bro, listen yeah, to Yeah, nigga, me. that's an accumulative. Are record, you bro. saying Thanks Drake more. showed a decline in his streaming when this was going on? That's, that's true. We're talking about... If we're talking about... Uh, Drake's total total uh, streams hasn't declined because he has a lot of songs that's on there that people constantly listen to, but the but the songs that he put out that are after or after the battle or during during the battle or after the battle those songs are done. We he's he's streaming off of his old material, not his new material. His new material is not streaming like that. You know what I'm saying? Like he struggles to get 
his new material is struggling to get get views. His new material, not his old material. But we're going to end that right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I hope y'all having a good morning. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all having a good morning. But it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, at this point, what do you really say to this dude? You know, what do you really say? What do we really say to Drake now? You know what I'm saying? And Wack 100 broke it down to the bull. And y'all, now y'all heard it. Y'all heard exactly what it is. He's really shooting in the dark with a lot of this stuff just to see what could stick. Because if he's coming at them like that, first of all, this is not even a lawsuit. This is just a petition to get information so he can try to file a lawsuit. But if he gets the information, the information might be something that he can't file a lawsuit off of because he'd be like, might look at it and say, well, I don't know if we can file a lawsuit off of this. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking that if, what do you need to, to petition uh, uh, him defaming your character or, or uh, slandering your name? You could just go ahead and, and file a, a, what they call that. You could file charges against him basically saying that he defamed or he slandered your, your name. Why do you need to file a petition to get to that? Won't you just say, you know what? I'm just going to take it straight to court. And this goes back to remember when Drake got robbed and everybody was saying he snitched and everybody was saying he said he never told, but people were saying that the, that the dudes were saying, yeah, how would the police know or whatever? Now, again, I ain't too keen on snitching and not snitching and all. I just think that that's in the way. But I'm saying the person at his stature, Knowing his background, knowing where he came from, for him to do this, it kind of make, makes my point that he just walked his way into hip hop. He didn't really earn his way in. And when Kendrick say he's a colonizer, it all comes back. And here we go. This is what they do. This is what he does. And y'all see it for yourself firsthand. All right, man, y'all have yourself a good morning. 12 o'clock show coming up, man. I'll see y'all. Have a good one. Peace. Bye. Yeah. Question. Yeah, okay.